All right, here we are at Barber Wind to start. Um, looking at the, uh, we'll stay here a minute before we go on and look at the old um, antiques. Motorcycles, we're gonna start with the uh, Harley based tribute to the um, Easy Rider movie. So this is the bike, copy of the bike that uh, Peter Fonda wrote, the Easy Rider. I think this is a Hilda Brandon Wolfmuller. Uh, I think I got that right again. This is a 1894 motorcycle. So this kind of the beginning of the, of the motorcycle uh, the motorcycles started at. This is really, really, I don't know if you exactly call it a motorcycle. Wooden frame with kind of a dolly to keep running. There's a rope for steam power. So, a little bit of everything you tried in the early days. In the very, very early motorcycles, simple, simple, simple bicycles. You can see that as we go through. Now, it's starting to emerge a little bit with this Pierce. So, think about this. It's a 1910 Pierce. It's only got four small purpose for it. much more than one. Come back to the uh, some of the early sidecars, 1920s Harleys. Um, one of my, I think, one of the one of the prettier motorcycles built of this era was the Ivor Johnson, known for their sporting equipment. So uh, made a lot of other, uh, a lot of other things like firearms and stuff in their day. Um, kind of a rickshaw style rig. Some of the early, early, early board track racers here. So you can kind of see how um, board track racers evolved. This is a 29. This is a 1908, which is essentially a bicycle again. Don't be surprised um, or, or understate how fast these things were and how many people died racing a very dangerous sport in its day. Um, raced on bank corners. This kind of simulates what it would have looked like on the wood on the board tracks that they raced on. So just incredible um, agility and speed that they had um, and the bravery of these guys back then. Move back and look at some of the uh, multi-cylinder multi motorcycles. So Militor, again, it's another, um, not, not real well known, but a multi-cylinder bike, very, very good sidecar set up in its day. Um, Torquey motor set up for, for pulling sidecars. And you start to see some of the early uh, hill climbers. So this was a uh, sport that hasn't changed dramatically, I'd say, in some ways, probably less than a lot of other sports. Still running big motors, you know, chained up wheels. Big, big difference now is the length of the bikes and the suspension and how much power they're putting out. But this board is essentially the same. Get up the top of the hill as fast as you can. So Sears is um, selling motorcycles in the early days. A lot of people are probably familiar with the later 60s motorcycles, the Allstates, which Sears were selling them all the way back in 1915. This is what they call a Dreadnought Twin.
So these were competitors at the time, and you can see, like they're competing again today, but this was, you know, a couple of your bigger manufacturers back then going toe to toe. Excelsior was another big brand. Um, get a look at close up of the engine here, and just the finish work on these motorcycles was, was really, really, um, just, just fantastic workmanship. See a lot of nickel plating, just like the early cars too of the of the age. Here is an Indian four. It's a 1928 Indian. So a lot of money, a lot of capital invested in Indian. Think about it, this is about the time the Depression was going on. So um, just a big risk for Indian, one that ultimately didn't really pay how pan out in the end. It uh, you know put the put the company on direction a hard time for, for many, many years. So this is a Harley Davidson sport twin. A lot of people don't know. Harley Davidson made a hor horizontal twin like this. They tend to think of the V-twins. But in the early days, Harley was experimenting like other manufacturers with different layouts and different designs. It's an Indian featherweight, so, you know, while you're branching out, they were making smaller and bigger and variety motorcycles. see more at Old Moto Dudes YouTube channel. Thank you.